Alright, so we got Noun Sports versus Zora Tiger Gaming, Korea versus London. Let's see how they do what they do, man. I'm not really familiar with Zora Tiger Gaming, but Nouns, you know, I'm familiar with them for sure, for sure. They got, what, damn, they got Hoopa going over there with Zora in the middle. Magikarp up top with Hoopa, and Teleon down there with Snorly. Uh, Thundercat over there with EV Charizard up here in the jungle, and Blaze again over here with Oddish. Is that an Oddish? Am I tripping? Oddish turns into gloom. I am tripping. I thought it's not no goddamn Oddish. Somebody, hey, look, somebody cancel me. I'm sorry for that. Oopsies. Um, I have seen a lot of Charizards up in this tourney so far. Oh shit! There we go. An engagement already. Are they gonna be able to do anything? Oops, Zorark's already killing him up because over here, golly. Zorark is so strong. So strong early game. Like, once he gets that combo going, it's literally a wrap. Like, he probably gonna kill the Charmander too. Watch. Watch. He waiting for it. Uh oh, uh oh. That was a good ass foul play on the Char on the Snorlax. That was a good. That was a good one on the Snorlax. I like that right there. Okay. Magikarp's almost there. Every Magikarp seems to be getting they ate they uh Gyarados before A. Have y'all noticed that? Over here, somebody must be doing things wrong up in our games, right? Because they don't be getting they don't be getting Gyarados that quick. They be mad as hell because they don't be able to get Gyarados. And then when they do get Gyarados, they start dying, thinking that they can go in there flying. Look at the Desu over there just chilling. Like the patience that these pros be having be like phenomenal. Like he still hasn't popped out. People would have been popped out by now. Now he sees that he had to pop out now because the Hoopa was looking for him. Charizard's evolved and whatnot. Snorlax and Inteleon's over here ready for the mid. Zoro's are all over this. Are they going to have a little fighty fight? Oh, he caught him out. He caught him out. He's ejected though over there. They're out of there. Hoopa's getting caught out though. Hoopa's definitely going to go down for that. Oh. Y'all better get up out of there. Oh, no, they want to fight. Okay, Gyarados wants to fight over there. Little chicken. No, get out of there, chicken little. You ain't ready for it. Yeah, okay, Charizard got your back for sure. That's a double kill. And the rotation's still going down bottom with the Zoroark and Inteleon, too. They're pushing over there really good. Inteleon got 30 in, but Thundercat done came in and killed their ass. Zoroark looked like he running for his damn life. <laughs> That's pretty, that map awareness, man, by the pros is just, like, so phenomenal, like, to me. Like, I just love watching them and being able to, like, learn from it and be like, damn, like, y'all over here really paying attention to this map. Y'all really be rotating, y'all really be getting all the yellow little dots off the map. Like, y'all don't never really be seeing yellow dots when y'all be seeing the pros play. But y'all see us play, oh, my God, it'd be so crazy. And look at Thundercat getting ready to go down. Oh, he said, stop that. He stopped his damn, oh, with the, oh, he took him to the skies, took him for a flight that's a double kill ain't no zero tiger in sight did they secure it elder goss actually secured it nice cool and they still going forward actually they're not gonna go for it they're gonna back off see i'm so used to our regular games they would have just kept on pressing but instead they going up top probably figured that zero arc is getting ready to teleport everyone up there look at look at zoop zoop look at look look, look at them oh shit get out of there hoopa you getting ready to die no they still secured it somehow, though. Gyarados must have dragged it, blew his damn breath on that shit. Reggie Lecky said, you know what? You got it, bro. I'm all yours. <laughs> Don't breathe on me again. Uh, and telling him I was missing a couple snipes. Thundercat looked like he was getting ready to try to go do something, but they stopped the Reggie Lecky, so that's great defense. 66 to 66, a quite even score, as even as you'll ever see it. Level is looking pretty even, except Charizard is level 11. Like, Charizard is huge right now. Blaziken's pretty huge, too. Like, that's gonna be a problem for that Inteleon back there, no? I mean, the Gyarados may be able to do a little bit, and the Hoopa may be able to teleport them out, but once the game goes on, if they keep pursuing these levels, that's gonna be a real problem for that Inteleon. Somebody gonna get ballsy and just dot those knife nose deep up in there. I can't even talk right. Like I'm just so like I, I can feel it. I know it's gonna happen. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Getting that charge ready. He letting them know and charge are just chilling. Just chilling. Like, oh please pull out. 
Please pull out. They must smell the bait. They must smell the bait. Charger is leaving, realizing that Blazik is up top getting jumped. There's no there's no value right here. Zorak must be going up top too, right? Actually, Zorak did a little zoop zoop and came back down here. Okay, they're not gonna get that in there. Oh, watch out, watch out. Watch out, this is Zorak coming down here. Wish yourself some health. Okay. Now it's Esports, then one up top. There's four down bottom for Zoro Targer. But they're gonna be able to break that in time. No, they're actually not gonna be able to break that in time. Zoro comes up in here with his ultimate. He gets him to back off, but he's in the back enough. Hoopa's getting caught out off guard. And Teleon uses his O. Is he gonna be able to kill anybody? It doesn't look like it. Everyone's pretty healthy. Blaziken's getting ready. Oh, he actually goes down to the combo of Zorak. Charizard sitting up here holding it down though. Shoot a shoot a blast! Aw, oh, too late, too late. <laughs> and Teleon's actually been missing. That's probably a good thing though for the Charizard and everyone that Teleon just been missing the snipes. Uh oh, Charizard's getting caught off over here. He's not gonna be able to make it back to Pat. No, but Blaziken's able to kick them all back on the thing and stop or at least one of them. I'm sure he was looking for all three of them when he kicked their ass in their face. But he actually got the Inteleon, so he made up for it a little bit, but he ended up going down by the Hoopa. But the other guys are sitting here trying to hold it down, but he realizes there's no point in just let it go. If they want to break it, they go ahead and let him break it for the little bit that they will. Oh, he actually has more points, so they're going to actually... That's smart. The Gyarados actually would have got some more if they... Excuse me. If they would have got some more points, maybe he would have... Gotten a little more overcap, but ain't no point wasting no more time up there. They in the lead now. And this is game one between the two. They just trying to fill each other out. No, R. Kelly. Oh, shit. Damn, Thundercats going down. He got caught out in a bad, bad, bad position. Charizard's gonna get caught out, too, but he's how he uses O, but that was not... Ah, it seemed like a panic almost. Maybe he thought he was going to be able to fly away. Eldegoss is on the nose for the Zoroark over there to stop him from getting the 40. Blaziken's getting his cap in there, but they're going to score the whole 45 in there. That's about a 39 overcap, 29 overcap, something of the sort. Are you going to be able to get out of there? Are you going to be able to get out of there? Oh, no, he is not. He tried to give him the little Hoopa portal, but it was just too far. He was already too low, and they was on a hunt. It was in the shark, like in the water, smelling blood. I remember there was a time when Snorlax has always went block, and now Snorlax is go, you go yawn. And it looks like now Z-Sports is trying to break that. They get that easy, simple break. But Zoro Tigers didn't seem like they want to fight that too much. I think they know that they're pretty healthy in the lead. Uh, they don't need to risk anything too close to two minutes. Now it's going to put a little pressure on them. Maybe they want to go for a sneaky sneak. But Zoro Tiger doesn't look like they even worried about it. They trying to set up right here in the middle. That's what they trying to do. I mean, Zoop Zoop done went back there to make sure nobody does no frisky things. That seems smart because he's probably be the one to kill him real quick. But once he sees on the map that ain't nobody going over there, he gonna pull down here and he gonna be able to do some dirty dirt. But he better hurry up because they hurting Snorlax right now. They hurting him real bad. Kick him out of there. Yes! They kicked his ass out of there. Forced him to use his Oh, Zoop Zoop better get his ass over here. Like I said, Gyarados is getting in. He trying to stop them from doing what he does. He goes underwater. Oh, Inteleon is down. They done got him back there. They didn't have nobody to try to save his ass back there. Now Gyarados is down. And Zoop Zoop is over here like, hey, y'all, I'm back. He's trying to do an ultimate, but it didn't really matter. He didn't kill nobody. He was trying to look for Charizard, but Charizard flew out of there. Now Thundercat is on his ass, and he came up over here, and he turned straight in the grass. He sure did, and Snorlax over here, but what he trying to do? He trying to do a heavy slab? Up, oh, he's heavy slab two slooms. Team said, fuck it, just go ahead and die, bro. We lost this first game. Just go ahead and give it up. It's all good. We'll catch him next time. And now as these spurs look at them trying not to smile, trying to keep their composure, knowing that they already won this game. Go ahead. Get in there, bruv. Score your damn points. Waited too long, black cat. Waited too long. Game two, everybody. Now it's East Port Zero Tiger Gaming. Are they gonna be able to do something different this time? I mean, they did pull out the, what is damn name, Cadet. Yeah, they got a Blissey and they looking like they going with the little red or Shifu this time. You know, so that's different. They, and they got a Pikachu. They said F all that shit we were doing last time. We about to whoop their ass right now. And now Z Sports, they, they didn't let everyone let go of Hooper. 
Espion, they invading. Okay, they're trying to keep their, their Shifu down. God, dog, oh, Odessa's doing so much damage. Blissey can't even keep him alive long enough. Jeez Louise, even without a red buff. He's just doing so much damage to somebody that's even a level higher than him. And he came back. He's getting ready to take it. Is Odessa going to be able to snatch it? Oh, he doesn't. He does not. He did his best, though. He did do his best. I thought he was going to get that KO at first. And he is actually a water buff. And he's getting, he's going for a death suit. He mad. He mad that he was trying to bully him before. And now he got his revenge. He got his licks back. I feel it, Urshifu. I feel it. Zero Tigers Gaming, they out here. and ain't ready to play. They trying to show you that water display. Okay, give it to him, man. Get him, get him. You water man, get him. Yes. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it in worlds. Do it in worlds. Let them know. Let them know. It didn't even matter about no buff or about no nerf. We don't be using these characters for this. We use them for their mechanics and what they can do for the team. Y'all people out here is clowns. Not understanding routine. Look at this. Look at this. Get him, Water Bear. Get out of there. Get him. Yes, I told y'all. Look, he's doing dirty, dirty stuff. But as a dirty birdie dude, he does go down. And he did too, so... Great job by Gatlu pulling out that buzz wall. Hey, and that's another thing. Y'all seen in my videos that buzz wall was actually the lowest person, the lowest win rate there. It ain't happening here in the world. It damn sure ain't happening here in the world. Blaze again. Buzz wall. The one thing I have not seen really is a lot of Blastoise, though. I will say that. I haven't seen a lot of Blastoise and a lot of Cafebo. Even though Cafebo got the buff. With the healing, you still not seeing it. People still want the bliss assistance, which I, I respect. That's fine. And they're using Sarah Lou. Sarah Lou's actually making a lot of a new appearance here. I wonder what it, once they take out the X monster, they you know which which one is gonna make the new appearance, huh? Which one y'all more excited for? And it looks like now it's gonna be taking this top pad, bottom pad. They're still holding up too. Zero Tiger needs to be able to do something. Looks like they're being kind of scared. They they got their water bear to be doing some things, but without him being level nine, it doesn't seem like they really want to go up and fight anything. Like they look like they should be able to have this fight. Oh shoot, Espeon coming in with a good ultimate. Okay, there you go, Water Bear. Like I said, you need to start getting aggressive. You know you can do these damn things. Y'all four, y'all down here on the Mammo Swan. Y'all better go up there and go get him. Make his ass extinct again. Forget that damn top Reggie Lecky. That Buzzwall is strong enough, so y'all might want to do something. It's just a blissy there. And now that Buzzwall see y'all, will they go back? Will they go back? Okay, Buzzwall's been found. Okay, so he's just in here trying to kill somebody. Oh my god, god, dog, god, Luigi just destroyed that tree. Turned him straight into fucking paper. Damn, he's getting ready to push this Reggie Alecki in. It's only a blissy and the Serlu's gonna stop him. Is he gonna be able to push that shit through? He might. Nah, he's getting out of there. Smart man, smart man. Ain't no point. Oh shoot, there's an s behind up there. It look like they may start double teaming up up there. But then, nah, uh, they backing off, they backing off. Espeon said, come on, guy, Lou, get your ass up out of there. We ain't playing no solo queue here. Look at that damage and the patience that these people just be doing. They just be holding off in trees. They all lucky we don't have warts in this game. Motherfuckers will be dropping warts all over the place. We be having vision everywhere. Then it'd be forcing you to look at the map, though. So, I don't know. Right now, no one's looking at the map while Sarah Luz is going in. He just does his own on three people, but he just can't really conform on that. He gets caught out by the goddamn Mamma Swan who's supposed to be extinct. He's about to be goddamn extinct right now with one more hit. And Sarah Luz actually goes down instead while Mamma Swan gets out and goes back. And Buzzwater decides to join in. Is they going to be able to do anything? No. Decide to disengage. Go ahead and get some help. They just wanted to get their Mamma Swan out. I respect that. I can feel it. And see, this is what that tournament play style is. This is what pro play level is. Other people would have kept going in and kept trying to zone people out, trying to get kills and do it all for clout. But you know what that's all about. They're going to be dead, ridden to the Pokemon Center. And that ain't how you win games. That ain't how you get experience. Look at Buzzwall out there. He about to go get score some shit right now. And then go get top while his team go on the bottom. He not even worried about it. Now that's why I'm going to pick somebody off. Who we picking off today? He picking him off? Okay, he back there. But he's back there by himself. Ultimate. Okay. 
Espeon come in. Espeon. Oh, Espeon. Oh, oh shit. Espeon's about to die. That's why. Okay, damn. Okay, Zero Tiger is doing that shit right now. Maybe they did need their buzz ball because things is not looking good for now. Z Sports right here as they Zero Tiger is simply taking over. And when I say taking over, I don't mean the game. It just look look at the momentum, look at the swing of things. You can see they got confidence in their footsteps and the way they talking to each other. Look how they moving. They moving as a whole unit now. Look how they just confidently killed that goddamn bus wall, and they still pushing. They ain't even got a Shifu here with them, and they just killed the Mammal Swine too. And now the Pikachu's up here. What you think they about to do? They about to get this Reggie and Lecky and keep them back right here. Sarah Luz, go ahead, take it, big boy. I told y'all that's what's happening. Look at their faces. Look at them. They're zoned in right now. And it's a bad thing when you give people confidence. They start feeling they can do anything. People like to start trying to go to the goddamn moon knowing they should stay on Earth. But now Z Sports said we need to calm down. Back that thing up, okay? Don't back that thing down. Woo! And they done send Zero Tiger to go get their farm. It was looking wild right there for a second. I was rooting for them. I thought they was really going to make that push happen. I thought they was going to make Nouns bend over and make them, you know, <laughs> I ain't going to say it out loud. But I thought that was about to happen. But then again, it's Nouns, man. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Of course, they're going to bounce back. They like rubber bands. They got elastic and they're strong as hell. You know how long them boys playing together? One, two, three, four, five, twenty years, maybe. We don't know. We don't know, but the chemistry is there and it shows. What they trying to do right here, set up for the bottom one? They got more 15 more seconds. Look at now these sports on this damn map. They all moving this one. All gonna pop up in this one thing, but Tree see you. Yeah, don't try to pop up in there. We see you. Oh, he's gonna pop him out. Just get him up out of there. Free, forget it. Just get Tree up out of there then. Make them come up over here. What they gonna do? They only got four people now, and we got five. Are they gonna come and engage? Because we got a mammal here that's gonna just icicle faint their ass. But he missed. He missed. And now he's actually on the run, and he's gonna die by the water bear. But it's all good because they got that secure anyway. And what y'all doing over here in our hood? You better use your goddamn ult to get up out of here and not stay here, Espeon says. And what else is going to happen? He's going to kick their ass in their face. Pikachu has to eject. Has to eject. But they got the buzz wall up out of there. The Sarah Luz got Espeon. Now things ain't looking so good for now in these sports. We got a man right down there scrubbing his goddamn head. He don't understand what happened. Why four people dead right before Ray? This is not no goddamn regular match. This is supposed to be the tournament play. Why are they acting? like this. Mama Swan, hit it. Oh, damn. If it's shit. If it's animation went off a little bit sooner and landed on it, imagine what kind of game we would have. Imagine what situation we would be in right now. Completely different. Completely different. But it doesn't even matter. We have four people dead before Ray. This does not happen. We're not supposed to be doing this. Is they going to be able to come back? I doubt it. I doubt it. A minute and 30 left. That's I mean, you know, they pros. They may be able to, but, you know, that's a 300, 4, 500. It's a rap zero tiger game. And so we ain't playing these games. We done came from Korea to get up over here. Boy, what you thought we was doing? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. Poor little Blissey. It's okay, Blissey. They trying to jump you because they feelings is hurt. Don't even trip. We just going to get them next game. You feel me? Game three. Yo, is they gonna do anything different? I'm really, I'm really, you know, wanna know. Like, is Nouns about to get kicked out? Because <laughs> mm. if Nouns is about to get kicked out, there's a problem. There's a real serious problem if Nouns get kicked out right here. I mean, not because they from Korea, it's just like, I mean, we've been waiting for Nouns to do some, some, you know, some astounding gameplay for a long time, right? We've been at least waiting for them to get to maybe the semi-finals, if not the grand finals. Don't be getting kicked out in your own group still. Like, we can't be having this. We love y'all and shit. But Zero Tiger over here, he's trying to get his stack in. And Leafeon, he makes it in there. Is, is he gonna make it home? Hell no, nah, he ain't. Koopa over here, he over here trying to help the Magikarp get up there. He being annoying. Lucario is not trying to even stack. He's just gonna go ahead and get his little things and keep it pushing. And you notice a lot of people leave the two little bow toy things back there for later on purposes. If y'all notice that, that you actually do get a lot more XP that way. You able to get to your middle f faster. Get your stack in faster, and you still got your two back there just in case you get outplayed in your other one. So it's not really a bad play, but they left Magikarp up top by himself. 
Was that the play? Elder Gods versus Magikarp and Lucario? That don't make any sense. But Elder Gods pulling down, looking for a little invade, seeing what's going on. Hoopa's doing the same thing that Elder Gods is doing. Do these fools have war up? How do they know exactly what each player is doing? Each team doing the same goddamn thing. And I guess that's why they pros and we not. And Zero Arc is over there down there with Umbreon with the Espeon versus the Mamoswine. Gyarados is over there bossing up before eight minutes just as everyone else has been doing and they're actually gonna be able to get the steal they looks like they do they do get the steal don't be mad don't be mad look at them toying with you don't let him do that to you dog it's just a buff you get the next one Yukario, who look they're trying to fight look at their petty they petty they petty trying to fight over for the last one. Oh, you got your ass caught up too you almost got your ass caught up with that guy. Ooh, nice. That was good timing because I'm sure Blaziken was ready to kick his ass on out of there. Is he going for this? Is Leafion really going for this? It looks like he is and he got it. He got it without the help of the Gyarados behind him. Are they going to keep on pushing and try to go for Pat? It would be a clean on 3v2. Okay, they're looking for a reset, realizing that there's no value here. But it might be a little value for Lucario. And actually, look, he can pull back. He pulled back, then he's going to be able to get it. He's e-speeding everywhere. And he done e-speeding his ass into the Pokemon Center, too. He was zoom zooming too fast. You ever seen Flash running around and shit like that? Somebody grabbing his feet a little. That's what he was doing. And they got another kill. And Edgar should have just went back home with his homie. He didn't, he didn't die for the cause. So they done put his ass back there. Pause. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mammoth Swine is being played a lot, and that Ice Fang with Earthquake is actually being really nice. You're able to jump in with Earthquake, possibly eject on the right person that you need, and then be able to Ice Fang them to your team, isolate them, kill them, and now it's a 5v4 immediately. I've been seeing that getting played all day, and it's being so effective, and we're watching it right here again. As it looks like he's getting ready to land, okay, he was trying to catch the Zero, or I see that. But then Leafeon missed his the train to the Pokemon Center. Hoopoo was trying to help him out and he ran right into the Gyarados. They ran right into the Gyarados. This is a perfect time for the Espeon. Oh, yep. They're going to be able to catch him. They sure do. Are they going to get the... Oh my goodness. Zero Tiger Game is not here to play games. Get up out of there. Y'all Y'all doing too much now. Y'all done seen what y'all was doing to them when they was doing too much. Come on now. Mammoth Swine is still being chased by the Lucario. And he is he gonna make it? Nah, he's not gonna make it, but he's still gonna get his scoring. I swear that Mammoth Swine been running ever since he was on his bottom one, all the way up through the middle. He was de determined not to die. Just like that damn Blaziken was determined to get him some sushi today. He killed that Gyarados whose way? <laughs> his way, shit. And they got the Espeon too. Now it's these sports that don't count us out. We sitting here, we just playing games with y'all. We trying to see what it's all about. Shake it out, out. <clears throat> no time for games, Wally. Because Lucario up here by himself. Mammoth Swine needs to get his level up. Mammoth Swine needs to get his level. We need him to be level nine before five minutes, ends, you know, ends. We need that ultimate from him. But that next engagement, a big fight, that would be really useful for them. Maybe a Hoopa unbound. That'd be really nice. I mean, because the only one, up, I was going to say, that's under 9 on nouns is Elder Goss, which is perfectly fine. But right now, they all good. Zero Target is really losing the battle in these damn fights. They need a good engagement, but they can't get in. Look, look, look. They, 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 Gyarados is getting caught out already. He had to use the ultimate. Just get sent back. They really forced his ultimate out, and they, no one even had a follow-up. Why was he by himself? Like the Leafeon. They can really use a Leafeon up here. He's going for more stacks and stuff. Oh man, I don't know if that's the play, yo. I oh, Hooper actually got it. Hooper stole it. Epic play by the Hooper and killed the Lucario. Now they're the ones that's gonna be pushing, and it makes sense now that the Leafeon did what they was doing down there. Okay, but Mammoth Swine is still getting caught out, so they're gonna probably let him go. They're gonna rotate bottom. Lucario's trying to get there before they actually get down there. Lu oh shit. That's a double kill. What is Leafeon doing over here? He over here in the back line just in a jungle just killing folks. Okay. Okay. He was definitely stopping them from doing that T1. He was definitely stopping the car and them from going over to that T1. Okay, Mule. Okay, Mule. You definitely not acting like no Mule right now. Or is you? Because you putting in a lot of hard labor right now. 
Good secure there, that was good secure. I was certain that Thundercat was gonna steal that. Get out of there, Leafeon. They're after you. You know, they're trying to pull up on you. Where your team? Okay, you run into your team. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh. I don't know. Now, Z Sports isn't looking too hot right now. As three of them is down there bottom. Thundercat's up there trying to get as much experience as he can. See, I mean, if he can get his 13 and catch up with the Leafeon at least. He has to be on par, right? With the Leafeon going into this Ray fight. Mamma Swan caught up. Hoopa even surpassed his ass. Gyarados would be really, really nice if Gyarados could be 13 as well. If Gyarados can hit 13, Espeon can hit 12. I think they'll be going in with some good fire pyre. Fire pyre. Fire pyre. I think that'll be really good for them, though, if they do that. They just gotta stay vigilant. They gotta stay patient. Oh shit, they done pulled somebody out there and got the Gyarados, but Gyarados able to bounce out. Good job. And that's, that's what I'm talking about. They catching people out one by one and you can't get caught out at a time like this. It's 2.30 left to go and they got the Hooper right now. And it looks like they're trying to get more. And he actually does kick him in his fucking ass. So Gyarados goes down. And he, did he use his ultimate? Mamoswan used his ultimate to get out of there instead of just dying for the next 15 seconds. Bro, you know that wasn't the way to go. You panicked, oh man. You wasn't supposed to do that. Leafy, I not being nowhere to be found. He out there trying to look for vision and whatnot. And y'all over here dying before things can get cracking off. Just come down to this. Y'all want this or not? Y'all going in for the engage? Y'all gonna push him back or what? Zoop Zoop's coming in. Leafeon's still hiding in that background. No one better not go for that back gap. Okay. Okay. Okay, what are they doing? Is he gonna go for it? Don't you do it, Leafeon. Don't do it, don't do it. Okay, good thing he got up out of that there little bush. He was gonna be in trouble, real bad trouble. He's gonna go for the Lucario. No, he ran into the thing. They're gonna have to converge over there. But if they converge, they're gonna be blazing, stuck in blazing and shit. Okay, good job, Hooper. Send the back, send the back. Y'all got time, bro. Y'all got time. The one thing y'all don't want to get caught in is that Blaziken. Y'all don't want to get caught in. And if um, y'all, oh shit, here it comes. Here it comes. Leafeon's by himself. He's able to get out. Gyarados is getting in his. Oh, he's going in that way. But another wasted. Oh, Elder Goss is using an ult to be able to push people back, get some healing going on. I think it's gonna be wraps for Zero Tiger. They're doing too much. All oh, their ultimates are down, even though they got Lucario. But it doesn't seem like they have enough health to be sustaining with everything. And the Elder Goss is up. Zoop Zoop is still being able to go do what he needs to do. Leafeon can get in there and do something, but I don't think so because Blaziken just missed his kick, but he kicked him in his ass and there's two of them down now. And that does not look good for Zero Tiger Gaming. They're going to be starting right. Oh, shit. Look at Blaziken. He looks real healthy. Real, real healthy with Espeon going down too. Ah, nah. Yeah, that's Nouns Esports. That's them all day. Four going down. Hooper, you better go in there. Throw some shit, Hooper. Why you worried about the goddamn... <gasps> Yo, Hoopa was worried about getting the goddamn speed instead of worrying about timing that shit. What if he would have got a time perfectly and he just threw that damn unbound portal right there. Hoop, hoop, right there underneath and stole it. He could have done it. I have seen it before. Instead, this fool ran off to go get a goddamn speed bus. Somebody kicked this fool off the team. What the hell was he doing right there? I'm just chilling with the crew. Nah, finally have a work is about to go down. Glad I have some money, make them all proud. Doing what I love on the playground. 